well, everyone, we are camping in Missouri. So we rented this beautiful Fleetwood camper to pull across state lines so we can make it to our new farmyard. Let's get to it. So my uh, phone wasn't really working and it's starting to sprinkle. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, wasn't really thinking about this. I thought, you know, what a great opportunity. I found this little uh, camping spot. Uh, my wife put down a tent and everything and now it is raining. I know we got a camper, but she likes uh, the old style camper. She's not a glamper, I think they call it where you camp in a nice camper like this. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is sweet. Everything. So, I really was hoping to be able to go mudding a little bit. I'm hoping the rain doesn't come because, uh, have you ever heard of, like, flash floods? Yeah. We aren't in a good location. But, I think we'll be okay for now. I'm gonna have to level this camper off. I'm, I kinda got it in a bad spot, so I'm gonna have to figure out where I can level it out. I'm gonna have to readjust it, because no one wants to sleep at an angle. When you're sleeping on a bed like that, you just roll into one corner and then, you know, then you're like hot and bothered. But I really. I just really want to mud around a little bit, so I think hopefully this uh, rain calms down a little bit and uh, just take this. Uh... Oh, I forgot to tell you. So, my wife's vehicle sold at the auction. Well, I forgot to tell you everything. So, we did have an auction, we sold everything. The government basically purchased all of our land to build an interstate running through. I'm going to get under my uh, canopy here while I'm talking to the camera. So the government purchased everything. So they gave us $1.5 for all of our land in Oregon. They, uh, the auction, we made just over a million. So we're, we got about, we have about 2.5 million right now to spin. I did purchase because my wife's vehicle sold on the way here we saw this great Bronco here so we decided to end up purchasing. Wow it is coming down really hard now I might have to go in the camper and uh, purchase that. We did keep the GMC we did keep the Honda uh, you can see up there on the hill, that's what my wife's pulling, but she, we did keep the old uh, GMC lifted truck. Uh, we have a, the Farmel Super M still, and we got the 4440. So that is the extent of stuff we ended up keeping. Everything else was a fairly good deal, and I really didn't want to pull it across state lines, so we ended up, that's all. That's all we kept. So, man, I'm going to get in my camper, and hopefully this calms down, and we could do some mudding or something. Oh, man, I just thought about it. I don't know if we can get out of here if it's really muddy. I'm worried about a flash flood just coming and washing everything away. Man, this was a dumb idea. Alright, good news. I know, it, it's really wet. I am really worried. I'm hoping this sand, sand dries out really quick. I'm hoping that dries out so we can get out of here in the morning. So we do have a little bit of a drive to do in the morning to get to our farmyard. Yes, we did push the button. We... We purchased a farmyard here in uh, Missouri. So this is uh, Medicine Creek Valley or Medicine Creek area here in Missouri. Uh, man, I'm stepping in water all over the place. But this place is just 
breathtaking. I just love camping here. Beautiful little campsite in the sand. I I just want to take our old uh, my wife's forward out here and just play in the sand dunes a little bit. What do you guys? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't. I got to take advantage of these things. When you have to move across state lines, I mean, look at that. That camper is sweet. I mean, I'm so happy I ended up getting that. Me and my wife has enjoyed our little trip across the state lines. And this is our last night. Thought I'd play around a little bit. Let's see if we can do a little, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. 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 Better go down before I, uh, scrape up my, uh, wife's beautiful paint on all these brushes. Down here. Ooh, yeah. Thought about going down the river a little bit, but it's, uh... It kind of weaves back and forth, so it doesn't really let you. Can we get across here? Let's let's try. Yeah. Man, you know, I bet this river valley is just great for hunting and everything. As you can see, I got our old uh, Ford here all dirtied up. So this thing's got a Cobra in it. Oh man, this thing just sounds so good if you can hear it. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, man. Love playing around with this thing. I'm so happy we ended up finding this, so my wife was a little bit disappointed that she couldn't her Jeep sold, but she understands, I mean she likes playing with new vehicles just like I do, so I think she's going to enjoy this. I think I'm going to probably enjoy it more than her. Oh, I just couldn't sleep. I'm going to see if this is still muddy over here since it... Ooh. Ooh. This isn't good. Still pretty wet. Ooh, man. This might be bad in the morning. Oh well, nothing we can do about it now. We'll figure it out in the morning. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, uh oh. I didn't want to come out and it's raining. Man, I'm really surprised I couldn't hear this rain in that camper. Usually it sounds like it's hailing when you're in a camper and raining. Wow, this is scaring me because I'm walking in water. Oh man, this might we might have be in a little bit of a predicament trying to get out of here. Got to wait till it stops raining, I guess. I don't really know what to do. Maybe I'll take a little uh, trip with my wife in the canoe. Oh man. I don't know. Let's see if uh, my wife is done with the eggs and bacon. I hope that truck is still going good, so that's why I kept it up on that road, just so I could keep a watch out for it. It's kind of just off of a country road there, but I really didn't want to have to drive this down this valley. So I'm going to take this old Bronco, and I'm going to try to go up this... Uh, these windy little paths here because this is this isn't easy trust me this is not gonna be easy pulling that big camper so uh, at least I can load the Bronco on the road and maybe I'll have to use it to give the assist because man I don't know no one around here Jim is supposedly put his interest in a farmyard but he hasn't even we're the first ones here, so, oh, man, I don't know. 
a little bit worried. I don't know nobody and I might get stuck. Yeah, we kind of got this a little bit dirty. I'm gonna have to look out the side window here. So this path is wasn't easy when it was dry and it was probably pretty stupid to go down it. Uh oh, uh oh, this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Got some mud, oh man. That poor GMC is gonna be uh, in for battle. And too, I mean, this has a lot of tight turns, so it's not like you can get a good run for it. You kinda have to slow down. This, this is not gonna be easy. I might have to uh, back my uh, 4440 off that. Oh, uh, old uh, off my trailer to get it out of here. Well, the Bronco made it. I don't know if that's very, I mean, that's kind of a given. Wasn't gonna get stuck with this thing unless I, uh, I'd be here for like a week if I got stuck with this, but. Uh, probably have to, well, you know, I'm just gonna try it, just to see if I can get out of there or not. I think I brought my pressure washer, so I'm gonna wash this off here quickly. And uh, get this, because I just can't stand my wife's uh, vehicles being dirty. Alright, so now we gotta figure out, I think I'm just, instead of getting all wet and nasty. I think I'm just gonna walk across where we came. Man, I my boots are gonna be covered in mud. Ooh, man, this stuff is sticky. This is not gonna be easy. What? Oh. Well, no time like the present. Let's just see how stuck we're gonna get. Let's see if my wife is done inside so we can put in all the slides and get to work, I guess. Alright, got all the slides put in. Now we just have to uh, load up our canoe and uh, pick up my wife's tent. I don't know why she wanted to sleep out of here, but uh, don't bother me. I got the whole camper to myself. Alright, yeah, we're going to have to turn because that we don't I think we're we'll ruining our engine all right that is our goal to get up there let's see if we can do it uh, oh man uh, come on buddy all right all right let's see if we can get a, a different run at this all speed ahead. Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Well. Man. Gonna have to get the 4440. Ugh. All right. So, uh, pretty sure this uh, tractor would be good with these big old duels on the side, but it isn't a four-wheel drive, but, uh, I think it'll be all right, as long as we can steer. So I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should back up all the way in there just so I don't have to turn around once I hit the truck. Probably a good plan there. If nothing else, I could do a little scraping for the park agency here to make this road better. I'll just put that road grader down and we put some gravel on this road because it needs a lot of it. Man, this is a lot longer than what I originally thought it was. My neck is starting to hurt. Look back this long. Finally, here's the truck. I was never going to get to it. Alright, we'll try. We'll tie a chain to our road grader here. We have to find a. Uh, oh, yeah, I got the nice hooks in front there. So I just 
just have to tie a chain to them. Should be good to go. Let's see if we can do our... Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, we're spinning. Sure, the diff lock is on. Yep. The diff lock is on. Wow. Oh, wow. Man, I feel bad for my wife having to drive all that. I'm spraying mud all over. Come on. Come on, let's get this thing all the way out of here. Man, this was such a dumb idea. There we go. Oh, we got it now. Woo! It was a little scary there. Don't think that uh, Super M would help much if we tied them both together. Uh-oh. There we go again. We're spinning all over the place. Woo! Man. We're not having an easy go of this. Man. This thing is being a nightmare. Man. I mean, it was fun camping, but it wasn't worth this. That's for sure. Oh, man. It's a problem when you don't have four-wheel drive, it basically, or four-wheel assist. It basically, you, can't, you have a hard time turning. You kind of have to brake to turn with these things. Don't tell me we're going to get stuck right at the end. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Whew. Finally. Finally. Whew. Got somewhere. Oh man. A little bit worried there for a second. Alright, we'll get this chain undone. Wow. Alright. Alright, get this back. Get this loaded up, chained on. Now I need to bring the Bronco back here. Uh, yeah, and I think we should be ready for our trip. So, man, this... I wasn't expecting this much delay in the morning. It was a dumb, dumb move to go down there to camp. I just didn't really feel comfortable camping in one of these farmers' land over here. So, you know what? I'm looking down there. I forgot my canoe. Just gonna roll that across the street or across the stream and uh, put it on my trailer. Man, I'm such. I'm just not winning this morning. Not winning. All right, I'm waiting for my wife to uh, pass me here. Should be coming. Man, I'm sitting way on the edge over here, ain't I? Where is she? she should be coming here pretty soon. Oh, there she goes. Whoa, slow down there, speed demon. All right. Wow. Did you know my wife has a lead foot? Man, she is going. That, that GMC truck did run down a villain, so does have a reputation, that's for sure. I just love this beautiful scenery. I, I mean, just look how beautiful this roadway is. To be honest, in real life, I think I may be moving to Missouri. Uh, uh, it really depends on a job, but after I retire, there's a good chance I'm moving to Missouri. I've always liked Missouri. Other than the climate, it's kind of, it's kind of, I've heard it's kind of, you know, it rains a lot and everything, but man, some of the, I've been through Missouri and I've visited it multiple times and it's always been one of the most beautiful areas in my opinion, but really the main driving force is a job that's the reason why I'm going to move there, but we will see. Anyways, I just love this area. Looks like we just missed that train. Maybe we didn't miss that train. All right, so now we're going. These uh, country roads can get a 
quite a bit bumpy, but uh, it's understandable. I mean, with all the rain we had, they probably got a lot of potholes. Kind of nasty. Hopefully, we can get to a hard surface road. But in the meantime, I just love driving through the country. Look at our beautiful GMC running here. This is such a beautiful rig. Uh oh. My wife's gaining on me. I'm gonna have to speed it up. It's amazing she can drive that fast because she's got a lot of weight. She's got the most weight. I mean, I got a camper, but most of it's, uh, most of my weight's back in the back axles, so. Alright, I hope this is our turn here. My wife took off. Man, did she ever take off. Whew. Slow down, baby. Look at her go. Man, I just can't get over how breathtaking this uh, view is. Well, why my wife isn't, like, uh, enjoying the, the views. Holy cow, look at this farmyard. Oh, man, that is impressive. That is an impressive farmyard there. Well, well done farmyard. I mean, man, that rock face in front of it, man, so impressive. Before it was covered with trees and windy roads, but this looks like some straight roads and some great farmland. Man, you can almost, uh, flood irrigate on this land here. I'm sitting here enjoying the views and my wife is like, I don't know how far ahead as she is, but she is a ways ahead. Holy cow, look at the size of that elevator. Can't read the side other than it says co-op. Man, them are some huge bins. That is a giant elevator set. Man, this this land is just so rich. Just tell. How far ahead did my wife get? So I had to tell my wife, I was like, uh, you're gonna have to stop so I can catch up. She was just like, stop rubber decking. Can't help it. I mean, don't you wanna see the area you're in? We're headed off again. I guess, is, is that another camp spot up there? Looks like it might be. For sure. Probably a nice place to camp. You're definitely gonna have to do some leveling though. And uh, yep, yeah, my wife has still got her lead foot on. Oh, look at that dairy barn. Maybe that's a dairy barn? Wow, that thing's giant. Uh-oh. Rubbernecking again. Look at that. Whew. A nice place. Roadways here. Just the hilltops, the rolling hills. Man. What a beautiful area. Now watch where I'm going. Oh. It's like we might have actually come close to catching up here. Yeah, I spoke too soon, I know. Oh, and this is it. This is our farmyard. Welcome home, everyone. My uh, wife must be uh, breathtaking. She's going a little slow. All right, now, so we own this across the street, a little bit of land. We own this, so, uh, this is the one thing we did purchase. I do want, I'm trying to buy more of this land over here, so. Oh, yeah. Not a bad house. So, this, the one thing about this house is it has some foundation issues. So, the reason why we got this house cheaper, or we got this farmland a little cheap, 
don't know exactly if I'm going to end up building or tearing it down yet or not. But I just, I got this land for a great price. I mean, to me, this is almost breathtaking. We got a bin set up here. I like how it's all curved around. We got our dairy operations. Looks like we have a hay barn. Yeah, so we got, I believe this is a silage barn or hay barn there. We got, this is our uh, dairy barn or cow-calf barn. And we got this pasture land to the back. And got that little, I got my fishing pond way back there. And it's just a beautiful area. So we also got a silage pit or a silo over across the street. And this is like another storage barn here. And uh, we got another, our shop is up here on the hill. So come in here. So I don't know, this isn't really a shop, but I guess it's a uh, basically a storage place. So I don't know. I think I'm going to make some changes. So you guys will have to bear with me. I'm just going to make some slight changes to this area. But to me, it's unfortunate the house has foundation issues. But it kind of lowered the whole price of the land. really like this flag up front. I mean, that's just beautiful. That little uh, scenery with that picket fence there. Not really picket fence, but white fence, I guess. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We got this barn across the street. Another beautiful barn here. So I guess this would work good at a, as our hay. Put our hay in there. And then this is a working silo. We got another fishing pond in the back. Man. It's one thing about Missouri, it is pretty, uh, it's a wet state, or at least this area is nice and wet. We're really close to one of the, one of the dealerships right there, so it's like right across the street, just a great place to, uh, I guess, be able to go get stuff or get uh, supplies. I did hear there's possibly going to be another dealership moving into this area. So, stay tuned, hopefully, but we will see. But thank you all for watching. Can't wait for this new series and new area. Don't worry. I'm going to try to make this one better than the last. But I usually do role play, so this is farming simulator role play. I mostly do farming videos and... I mostly do farming life videos too so not all of farmers just sit in a tractor all day long or stuff like that they farming life is hard there's a lot of stuff random stuff just involved that's why a lot of farmers love their job because every day is almost different but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Missouri Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.